Hey everyone, Joe Journey here at BlackBerryOS.com. I am here at BlackBerry Live 2013 with Daniel Yepsen. He's the founder of Funkoy. Uh, you guys probably know him. I'm very familiar with. Uh, he has a couple of great games in uh, BlackBerry World right now, uh, Alpha Zero and uh, Three Little Kingdoms. So good to be with you. Great yes, to be sir. here. Thank uh, you. So let's talk about your company first. You know, you're the founder of the company. Um, tell us what Funkoy is. You know, what do you guys have uh, as far as gaming goes? Yeah, well, I started my journey in games 15 years ago. Hey, I'm old. Yeah. And I uh, started my own first company uh, based in Sweden back then. And uh, I did a detour in Sony Mobile for a while, which I, was killing me. So I yeah. had to get out of there and make games again. I, I'm all about games. Yeah. So we started up a company last year, Funkoy. As far as the company size and stuff like that, what do you, what do you, how, many, how many of the, you guys are, who's making the games, you know? So we're 20 people. Uh, I would say I, I'm definitely hands-on in there, right? I'm, right. I, I'm making You're a lot of You're coding and, and doing, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the tech guy, I think, at the company. Yeah. There's a lot of the artists and stuff like that. Maybe it's worth mentioning we're actually based in Vietnam. Uh, we also have an office here in the Bay Area, which is kind of unique as well. Yeah. So we have the business part here in the U.S. And then we have, you know, I don't, I don't want to call it a production company because I'm actually based there. Yeah. As well, right? I'm sitting right there next to the guys, and they're not there because we have a, we want to have low cost production or anything like that. It's yeah. because my wife is Vietnamese, a lot of friends in the game industry in Vietnam. Yeah. So that's why we kind of pull together, let's start a company together. So we have a company together with three partners in Vietnam that we're making these games uh, for all, a lot of platforms, yeah. but right now we're talking about like a couple of devices here. You've got the Q10 and the Z10, you're going to give us some demos now. We're going to see some cool stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, come on over here, crank cameraman, <laughs> and let's. Uh, where do you want to start? Uh, yeah, to start. Let's start with the, uh, the, the why not the Z10? You know, Z10? I came sure. first, so let's start with that. Absolutely. So we have a, a bunch of things here. Uh, let's just stop, uh, start Alpha Zero then, maybe. Yeah. Let's do Alpha Zero, and then maybe on the Q10 too, we can yeah. show them the differences. You know, <clears throat> the differences of uh, how they look and everything. Uh, we gotta skip that part. So we're coming out with an update uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, for both C10 and Q10. Uh, Q10 is not released yet, actually. So this is the right. premiere. Yeah, this is Excellent. premiere right here, baby. Let's, uh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Definitely. So you can see we did uh, some menu system work. I mean, our engine technology takes care of most of this work for us. But you can see that obviously there's a lot of differences in, in how right. the menu, what the menu looks like. We scaled things up to make it more readable in the Q10. There's more cramped space, but we try to make use of the space we have. Yeah. Oh. So we can just let's see this. It's perfectly smooth. Yeah. Actually, performance is even better on the Q10 than the Z10 yeah. because of slightly smaller screen resolution, probably, uh -huh. and maybe it's optimized too. I don't know the technology inside. It, it works great, though. Yeah, that's no, that's awesome, man. So yeah, we can see everything just work the same way. This is obviously the page that's most different because it's hard to fit all this stuff in into one page, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pre-release version, but it's going to be something like this. So all the information is here. You can you can go in and, and actually read about the, the different uh, items available right. to buy. And upgrade your ship and and so on. Yeah, but uh, let me uh, let me show then how to play the game. We can show it here. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. And, 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 and you know, like like people say, the challenge is with the Q10 is, is being able to game on it. You know, because you got that one one aspect ratio. You know, and like you're saying, it's uh, you guys have been able to bring the the UI into a, a way where you can. To, to be able to use it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, we managed to make it work, I would say. If we touch, no problem. You, you can play this game and have a lot of fun with it. Uh, definitely a, a larger challenge than the C10 device yeah. to fit it on here, but, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. tutorial stuff I'm going to skip by. So, yeah. you know, I can, I can still work the same. I don't have to, to, to touch exactly on my ship either. So and there's uh, yeah. five different control schemes to choose from. Uh -huh. And we also added something cool. I'm going to show you guys. I, this is why I always keep in my pocket. Let's see, what do you got? Oh, what's uh, it pulling out? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Small little gamepad thing. It's not even uh, connected right now, so I'm just going to pair it up real quick by holding cool. in and it's still blinking. Okay. So I should be able to start playing. Wow. That is so, amazing. And it has a, like a twin stick uh, shooter kind of thing going on, right? So yeah. it works so, perfectly. So, Very so nice, people smooth. that were worried about, you know, can I game on the Q10, you know, this is what you do. You know, this, this is, you're going to get that, that full experience of, of, you know, the game hands free, free off the screen. Be able to utilize that full screen without, you know, 
dis obstruction of you. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm from the game industry. I love tactile feedback. I love the the, Q, uh, the QWERTY keyboard as well. Yeah. Uh, our other game, uh, I will show you maybe if we have time. Uh, we actually have short keys for everything on the keyboard. It's yeah. really nice to play, and we have a sneak peek maybe on our next upcoming game that uses uh, the keyboard perfectly as a, as a game made for the keyboard. And the, wow. the, the controller works for both devices. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 No problem. Just paired up. Uh, there's more controls to choose from. I just yeah. like this one because I travel a lot. Yeah. So this one is perfect to have in my pocket. Are you guys bringing this? This this will be as well on the Q5 that was just announced? Oh, of course. Yeah. We will, okay. have, we will support cool. BlackBerry. And actually, from now on, we will make sure that uh, we are released on BlackBerry first. We wanted to do that for C10 yeah, as is. well. Uh, but obviously, uh, we went with the iOS first because yeah. C10 was not out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So we had no choice. Yeah. We had to go, right? But uh, for upcoming games, uh, this is going to be a lead device. All yeah. the uh, BlackBerry is going to be our lead. Uh, yeah. It's perfect. I love the community. I love the feedback we're getting. Everything is great. You're pretty good at this. Yeah, you are good, man. Well, all right, all right, all right. I've done it before. So here's a, a change as well. Because in the normal version, you actually just touch uh, enemies to shoot yeah. missiles at them. But for this, we have a, a cooler trick. We just highlight, highlight enemies with this kind of beam thing. And it shoots the missiles. Oh, right? cool! So, so it, it works a bit differently than the other version, but it's really fun to yeah, play yeah, with. Yeah. So you need to check it out. Wow, that's awesome! Well, uh, so, so you know, and, and same thing like like you say on the the Z10 here. You know, it's obviously you can use it a little bit, player. It's you got the same uh, same feeling, same game, same adventure. Yeah. What um. Now, what, now uh, I know you got uh, another game, right? That you guys just released not too long ago. Yes, Little yeah. Three Kingdoms. Yes, that's a, a legend, or I don't know if it's a legend or story, but it's uh, from the chi ancient China. Yeah. Uh, the emperor got abducted, so yeah. uh, you're playing uh, a long uh, campaign to to uh, to save him, yeah. and you unlock all these famous uh, historical characters from China. Yeah, uh, I will show you guys. Yeah, you want to pop it? Up? Yeah, let's pop uh, it. Up let's do that on, on the C10 then. So that recently launched on C10 and Q10. It's already out there in the store. Let me see. No, 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 no. There we go. There it is. Yep. I love the graphics too on it. It has that, like you said, it has that uh, very Asian type uh, element. You know, the Asian look to it. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, that was the choice as well to go go that style because obviously it's set in China. It needs to, to have that background. And we are a Vietnamese company. We are, we're going to try to bring some of that culture uh, because their culture is very similar to China yeah. in many ways. But okay. you know, they, they have a lot of history together. Yeah. They have a lot of things like Journey to the West. I don't know if you heard about it. The, the Monkey King and all uh, those things. Yeah. There's a lot of really great detailed history to. To, to, to make into games that I think has been un, uh, underutilized in, in games so far. So I'm going to start up here. And the size of this game, file size, is... Uh... Oh, I forgot the file size of this game. Actually, I, I want to touch on that aspect as well, because the next version uh, of, C, uh, of Alpha Zero is going to half the size of, of the game. Actually. Alpha Zero, oh, half the size. Awesome. So you guys are <coughs> constantly optimizing your games. Constantly. Be... We didn't have time for the initial launch, yeah. unfortunately. It was yeah. 180 yeah. megs or something like that. Yeah. It's, I, I think it's around 90 now. That's awesome, Good. You're and thinking about the end user experience, so people are going to have more games on their... On I want them device. to be able to download yeah. it faster yeah. and, yeah. and faster, just yeah. have more fun with it. That's so awesome. this is a castle defense game. You see the, the, the lush graphics here. We're trying to make it real nice. So here's the enemy uh, castle, and here's your castle. And you have to build these troops, and you have food coming. You can replay levels. So this is, like I said, this is a campaign you're playing. Yeah. Uh, so... So you can actually replay levels to get more cash. You don't have to buy any in-game cash at all. And see, they have each each different unit has different powers. Yeah. So you have two different powers to choose from. From this basic infantry guy, he can uh, blitz or he can slash. Yeah. Slash is kind of a, a jumping attack. I, I, like it's basically like this. So he jumps forward and uh, makes an attack. Yeah, nice. So, but I can also just go go uh, running. And so you basically have to take out the enemy castle. And then yeah. there's time based, so the faster you do it, the more stars you get, the more cash you get. Yeah. And then cash you get, you can use for certain things. You, know, like you, you can saying. purchase the uh, upgrades yeah, yeah. for your ship. You can unlock these heroes, so I can switch uh, to hero mode here. These are all the basic units, yeah. I have everything locked right now. Okay. Uh, but then you can unlock these heroes that, that do different things. Like one of them uh, right at the back of your formation, and you know, can just right. it blitz all the characters around him, for right. example. And some of them have really cool attacks. Cool. So they beat me off here, but you see, I almost crashed. Down their castle. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, so what are we talking price range for Alpha Zero and for Three Little Kingdoms? What are, what's, uh, what are we? 
What's what's the cost of these games to, to get them in a, a BlackBerry world? Two ninety nine right now. Two ninety nine. Yep, yep. We're gonna do nice. some uh, uh, different. Uh, so very competitive pricing. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's talk. Of, let's go then talk about the future of uh, Funcoy and where you guys are going with, uh, with with games. You know, you know, you say you might get a little sneak peek for us here on something. So yes. a little teaser. So Premier, come on Premier, here, Premier JT. View. Let's see. Take a look uh, at that. Well, we can do it on this device, I suppose. Yeah, um, I know you guys got. You said you have a project going now. I'm going to turn this off just in case. I know they can run flawlessly though, but you know, for a demo, I always try to yeah. minimize yeah, risk. Yeah, minimal, exactly. <laughs> yes, sir. So they have a game. Uh, the working title is Ibert. It's kind of a mix between Mario and uh, Monster Dash in a way. Everybody loves Mario and Monster <laughs> Dash. You know. Definitely, and it's a good combination. Exactly, and, and uh, we try to make it a fun oh, and addictive, awesome. not as easy maybe as most of these running games are. Yeah. We make it a little bit more challenging for you. Yeah. There's a lot of fun stuff going on. So you play this character uh, here, green guy, yeah, yeah, okay. and this is your uh, girlfriend or whatever. Uh, your partner, right? yeah, your little fairy partner. partner. Exactly. <laughs> so she follows you along, and she's going to have a greater role as well yeah. in the game. I'm not going to spoil that just yet. Okay. So you have worlds here. Here's a story <laughs> mode. Get good tease, you know. So yeah. just like in Mario, you collect these kind of big crystals. You have to get those crystals in the level. So you have to replay levels maybe to find them, or you know, some of them are really hard to cool. get. But you don't have to get them all in one run. You can go and play replay this level, for so example, and just get that challenging one. Then, yeah. So yeah, okay. to optimize your score and so on. Obviously, this is very early build, so yeah. there's going to be a lot of changes happening. So basic gameplay oh, is uh, awesome. So. So you can head jump enemies, you can shoot them with this button here. So there's two buttons to play normally. Yeah. But we actually do some funky stuff as well. There's going to be unlockable costumes uh, for the character that changes the gameplay around. So nice. and you pick those up in the levels as you play as well. Uh, there's, for example, one uh, version where he can fly uh, instead of uh, shooting. Oh, so wow. he can fly instead and he can then reach much yeah, uh, yeah, further. Yeah. And, and, you know, and some levels will require you to, to use that power. Right? So. So that's that that is great. Just that's a, awesome, man. Sneak peek. That I'm excited that for that is one. Great. Is that one going to be about two ninety nine price range as well, or are you guys uh, going to be? We're doing a few different things with this game. I, so we're I don't want to confirm. Yeah, yeah, we're I'm not going to confirm that yet. Yeah, but uh, we are looking into other ways of reaching more people. Yeah, yeah. And cool. That. And then, and so and as far as the uh, funk way goes, so you got this project. Are you guys? Are you guys? You don't have to say anything, but are you guys working on other future plans? You have a lot of stuff going on. We are. We are. We are actually work have the. Five games in production. Okay. Uh, four of the four. I mean, no, sorry, three games then, because Absolute is already out. So the three games out. Obviously, we are not done with those games. Yeah. Yet. We want to keep updating them. Yeah. Add more. But they're playing right now. They're not just concepts. You guys are actually developing. We're developing these games. Awesome. So we got a whole slurry of games coming. Yep. yep. Uh, and uh, they won BlackBerry. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for sitting in with us, Daniel. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks. And we'll be with you next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.